Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where we discuss all things in the adult coloring world. Today we are going to take a look at Hannah Lynn's new book, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. I know that many of you probably have already seen this book, or you may even have it yourself, but I'm going to put a bit of a twist on things in this video. I'm not just going to do a flip through, but I'm also going to share with you the page that I colored from this book using several different art mediums. I'm going to go over all the art mediums that I used in the picture, and I'm going to show you how they all came together. And then we are going to do a speed coloring so that you could see the transition from the page where it has no background to what it then looks like with a background, which is going to be very cool. As always, any of the supplies that you will see in any of my videos, those will always be linked in the description so that you can purchase them yourself if you'd like to. If you're new here, welcome. I have several tutorials here on my channel as well as color alongs that are done interactively through my Facebook group. I do coloring supplies and reviews and I've done shopping hauls. If you enjoy this type of content then please make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. If you like this video also please make sure that you hit that like button down below because it does help YouTube to know that this content is enjoyed by the adult coloring community. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's start with the flip through. So as you can see, the color cover of this book is absolutely beautiful. If we open the book, of course, we've got the cover page. And this is the page that Hannah Lynn includes in all of her coloring books, and I really love it. And I love how she gives a name to each individual girl in all of her books. Okay, so here we have our little prairie girl. She's called Prairie Harvest. Isn't she adorable? Now, lately, in Hannah's most recent books, she does a fabulous thing for us where she does one copy of the page with all of the detail in the background. And then she includes another page where she then zooms it in so that some of the background is not there. But y'all know that I love doing backgrounds. So when I look at these books, it just really gets me excited because I just see background and I'm just like, oh my gosh, what can I do with that, you know? And of course, it's another video for me to make for you all to give you guys more ideas for backgrounds. So I just really love that. This next one is called Loretta. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her gorgeous hair in this gown. And I love the scenery in the background. And of course, if we flip to the next one, again, we have our second copy where we have the photo zoomed in. This next one is called Miss Trudy. Look how gorgeous. She just looks so Victorian. Look at this gorgeous flower base, vase in the background and the trees out the window. Oh my gosh, I already see so much that I could do with this one. And this wallpaper over here on the wall. I'm just, I already am just like, I look through here and I just picture all of the fabulous things I could do with these. And then here it is again, zoomed in with the drapery very close as the background. Here we have Sunset Promenade. Isn't she just beautiful? Look at her in her car, in her little... Oh, I, lo I love this old car. And then look at this background. This is so gorgeous. The little birds and the sunset and the water. Look at that adorable little dog sitting in the back of her olden days car. <laughs> so cute. And then here it is, zoomed in. And next we have Flapper Franny. Oh, I love this. Look at that dress. You guys all know that I am just in my mind right now thinking glitter. 
Like, I really am. I'm thinking stickles on the fan and stickles on her dress. <laughs> and then if we turn this, we've got it zoomed in. And then, of course, I am getting total background vibes on this one and what I can do with this. So this one is called Washing Day. And, oh my gosh, I'm just looking at these and I'm looking at the hair on all the girls and they just look so fun to color. I'm just imagining what I could do with the hair. And I've got some bubbles down here. I could get so creative with those in the background. And then we turn the page and then of course we've got it zoomed in. And this is War Warbird Rosie. I love it. And here she is zoomed in. Here we have Baseball Betty. I love these names. And then here's Baseball Betty zoomed in. Oh, this one is named Lucinda. I love that name. This one, again, is giving me glitter vibes. I cannot wait to color this one. The curtain in the background, her hair, all the highlights that I could do that I'm imagining right in here and over here. Oh my goodness. I think that this is going to be the next page that I color. I just love this one. And then here we are with her zoomed in. And on this one, I'm thinking stencil background. <laughs> this one here is called Dinner is served. Look how adorable. She's in her kitchen. She's got her turkey all ready. She is just ready to serve dinner. And she looks so put together. How many of us actually look that put, to put together in the kitchen? Not me. <laughs> so then here we have the next one where it's zoomed in. Oh, and look at this gorgeous girl. She looks like somebody who is famous. Yes, golden age of Hollywood. So she is a Hollywood celebrity. Oh, I can't wait to do that moon in the background. This is so cool. Look at the movie reels and the movie film. Oh, this is so neat. Let's see what the zoomed in one looks like. I'm curious to see if we still have the reels and the... Oh, we do. We've got the movie reels and the uh, film in the background. That is so perfect. This one is Sock Hop Sally. Oh my gosh, look at, this is just giving me grease vibes. Totally, look at her poodle skirt. I love it, the CDs in the background that are pictures on the wall. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Look at her hanging out in this diner. We've got our little mustard and ketchup bottles back here and her shake in her hand. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, see this one, I would be online looking up a picture of an old diner and I would be coloring this so realistic. And then of course we have her here zoomed in. I love the zoomed in one. Now we have beach picnic. Look at her just laying out on the beach. What is this, maybe the 50s? Oh my gosh, she has a sandwich and her little, her chips, like she's having a picnic out on the beach with her umbrella. Look at the lighthouse in the background. I love it. Okay, so here she is zoomed in. Then we have front desk Donna. She, I don't know guys, does she look like she's ready to get to work or does she look like she just wants to pose like a supermodel at work? <laughs> Oh, I love her beehive hair. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I want to color her hair. I just want to color her hair. <laughs> okay, let's see what she looks like zoomed in. Oh my gosh, now I want to color her hair even more. And look at the background paneling on the wall. That is so cool. This is so realistic. I love it. Here is Disco Diana. Look at that disco ball, how fun. Here is Disco Diana, zoomed in. 
And here is my favorite one in the entire book. Groovy girl. Look at her. She's so hipster. She's got her van there in the background and all the flowers and the kaleidoscope things and swigglies and her peace signs. And she's just so chill. Let's see what she looks like zoomed in. There she is. Now see on this one, I really love the original version. This is the one that Hannah Lynn uh, put out prior to releasing the book. I believe it was prior to releasing the book so that everybody could have a free copy of that page. And that is the one that you are going to get to watch the transition on in the latter part of this video. So this is her zoomed in. And here is Rainbow Ray. Look how cute she is. This one, I am just picturing all kinds of bright colors and happiness and, of course, rainbows. And I have such ideas for the background in this one. I can't wait to color this one. And look at her kinked out hair. Do you guys remember way back when, when we used to kink our hair out like that and use those crimper things in our hair? I know I used to do that years and years ago. We all had to have the crimper. I love her. Okay, so next we have Boombox Baby. Look at her with her boombox. Oh, and I love the background on this one. This one's so fun. I see metallics and um, glitter pens in this background. Am I giving you guys any ideas? Are you getting the same vibes that I'm getting from some of these? Here's her zoomed in. Oh my goodness, and I'm all about this one. This is Workout Wendy, and I don't know if you guys know about me, know this about me, but I, years ago, a few years ago, I think seven years ago now, I lost 170 pounds. I was obese my entire life, and now I live a completely different lifestyle, and I am all about working out and just eating good. And I love my weights, so this one is just right up my alley, and this one will definitely be colored, because this one just gives me all kinds of happy vibes. And I have an idea already for this one of the background and what I want to do, and I guess I can share that with you now. Let me see what the zoomed in one looks like. Oh yes, I'm probably going to do it on this one, but I plan on doing something really cool with the background and then coming in with special pens and putting little sayings, motivational sayings in the background corners. And then this one will definitely be framed when it's done and put up in my office or in my home gym. That's how much I love this one because it's very hard to find any kind of workout girls, especially holding weights in any coloring book. So I'm all about that one. This one is called School Photo. Oh my gosh, how many of you remember that big, huge hair? Oh, good goodness. This is so cool. This sweater that she's wearing, I could do so much with that. Look how big her hair is though, y'all. Oh my gosh, do you remember when they used to do the school photos and have us pose like this? on the chairs and stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. This one's great. Oh, and I love, love this one. This is the grunge girl. When I have seen so many people coloring this one already, I think that this one is just one that so many people can relate to that are right around my age. And it just gives you these like I don't know, feely vibes of way back when like I was in high school and like I don't know, like the metal t-shirt and everything. Like this one is great. It really is. And then here she is zoomed in. There are so many things you could do with this background. Okay, y'all, and this one is called Preppy Portia. Who else is getting total clueless vibes from this? That is totally Cher, but in this one she's named Portia. But yeah, that's totally Cher. I really see the correlation to that. This one is really great. Look at her on her cell phone. Oh my gosh, old school cell phone. That is so funny. Holding her school books. She's so cute. But I'm looking at some of these that are zoomed in and I'm seeing a lot of use for markers. 
And you all know when I do my markers, I like to overlay them with pencils, and you'll see that today when we get to the second part of this video. This one is called Harmony. Oh, I love the name for this one. She looks so cool. I love this background. Let's see what happens on the zoomed in one. Oh, that is cool. We still have the background and it wasn't left out. It's just zoomed much more in on this one. Oh, I can't wait to color her overalls. I have such ideas for those. And then here we have Trendy Tracy standing on the beach. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of my days at the beach in Florida when I used to live in Florida. Look at those palm trees in the background. Look at her adorable little outfit. This is so cute. Okay, and then we have her here zoomed in. And then we have our very last one, which looks like it could just be from today. It's called Cozy Morning Coffee. Oh my goodness, who can relate to this one? I think we all can. I am all about my cozy morning coffee. I've actually got my coffee sitting right here next to me while I'm filming this video for y'all. <laughs> of course, I'm not sitting in bed with my coffee. I'm sitting at my desk, but I do still have my computer sitting in front of me. Y'all just can't see that. <laughs> but that is all of this book. I absolutely love this book. This may even be one of my favorites that Hannah Lynn has released. If you would like to purchase this book for yourself, you will find a link for this book down in the description. But it really is a fabulous book, and I hope you enjoyed that flip through. We are going to move now to the second part of the video, and I am going to share the page that I colored with you and all the different mediums that I used on the page. On this page, we have such a mix of mediums. I have been cleaning out and organizing all of my art things and trying to give everything a place in my coloring space. And so I started taking out all of these things and I'm like, oh my goodness. And then of course that kind of led me down the rabbit hole and I wanted to try this and this and this. So of course I've been shopping too. <laughs> so anyways, what I have on this page is a mix of let's see so the base is markers this is all markers the van is markers my Cali art markers to be exact this is marker and most everything that has been done in marker has been overlaid with my Pablo uh, color pencils my Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils like the van I don't know if you could see this. Let me zoom in just a little bit for y'all. But can you see the shading and such in here? I do all of the shading with the Pablo pencils. And this right here is gel pen. I use gel pens in quite a few different places. I was so excited to bring my Cali Art gel pens out. And I've just had so much fun with this page. But let's see. The shirt is all gel pen. And this black gel pen is not the Cali Art ones. It was a much cheaper set that I got on Amazon. If I find it, I will link it below. I can't remember what the name brand was. But it's a huge set of gel pens, and they're wonderful. The Cali Art are more expensive, but they are wonderful as well, and they're very smooth. I've got both sets of the Cali Arts, and so I think on this page, all of the ones are from the glitter set. But her bracelets have been done with glitter pen. Her belt is done with glitter pen. All through here on the van is all um, gel pens as well. And then these right here that are kind of kaleidoscopy that just look like, I don't know, to me it's like a shooting star slash peace sign, I don't know. Um, but I just love them. But all this swirly work and everything, the outside is my Cali Art markers. And then the insides where I layered different colors, it is all marker base 
matched up with gel pen because if I just lay down the gel pen it would not have been this opaque and I just love the look that you get when you lay down marker and you lay other things on top of it. Her eyes were done with stickles and let me see what else do I have on here. I think that's it. It's basically this is gel pen down here the silver and on a lot of this where I did like in here in the van I don't know if you could see that but the little dots on the van I tried to cover up most of the black so that it just looked like silver bling on her van and I love it this is all marker of course it's overlaid with um, the Pablo pencils and then here I wanted to put like a little reflection on the van windows so that is Pablo pencil that I did that with now oh and oh okay so here the way I defined her pants this is all um, marker underneath and then all the white that I did to create the highlights all down in here that is the Prismacolor white because I couldn't find my Pablo and of course I always have my Prismas laying around and over here where I put the uh, detail on her pants that is my white Posca so as you can see there's a lot of different things on here so this right here is just Pablo's the flowers I love how they turned out it's like a cream color or like a very pale yellow with the blue they're so pretty and then the flowers here are all my Cali art markers and then the detail is with my Pablo's so I think I've covered everything on this page and I absolutely love it but I want to do a background let me zoom you back out so you could see the page here so I want to do a background on this page and I just want to be really daring on this and I've got this idea and it's like I wanted to make sure that just in case it turned out really great I filmed it <laughs> so you guys can see I decided what I want to do with the background of this page and I decided I wanted to make it all black as you can see here I've already started it because I wanted to see how it was gonna look <laughs> I went and took all my pictures and everything of my page as if it was completed before I started in with the black. So I wanted to go ahead and get this all on film at hyperspeed because I wanted y'all to be able to watch the dramatic difference in what black can do on the background of a coloring page. Especially this one where I have all these bright colors that are just going to really come to life and just pop off the page once I add the black. So we are going to go ahead and do a speed coloring and we are going to start that now.
Okay, so now you can see how my page has dramatically changed and the image that is to the front of the black just really pops off the page. I think it really turned out amazing and I love the way it looks. But now I need to go back and all these little white dots that are here all over the page that were so hard to get around with the black marker and so tedious. I am going to go back and I am going to make those pop off the page as well. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in with my next step and we are going to go ahead and do all of the little dots all over the page and we are going to really emphasize those and make them even wider and make them more of a circle than they already are because the black marker had gone over some of those kind of taking away from them and then I have another idea after that and I will show you how to do that but for the dots I am going to use my 3M Posca and then when I come back and do the next little trick that I'm going to show you, I'm going to be using the finer one, which is the 1M Posca. So we are going to go ahead and do that in another speed coloring as we finish off the background, and we are going to get into that now. Okay, so first we're going to come back and you see this little line all the way around here which is would be the border we are going to come in and use a marker and we are going to color that and we will do another speed coloring for that as well let's get started So the border on that is now done. I think it looks really good. If you saw that, I did these little tiny corners up in the edge with my Color It Silver. This is the Glitter Platinum, it's called, but it is the True Silver in that set. And I wanted to show you guys something really cool. Whenever I'm working on a project, I like to keep all of my things together and they were laying all over on my desk so I came up with a really cool organization thing that didn't cost me anything and I did this so this is I drink a lot of a lot of um, this is like my workout I don't know workout drink I drink every morning before I go work out but I just took everything off of it and I plan on I got a really cool mermaid um, glittery mermaid sticker let me see if I can find it I got this the other day in a, in Hobby Lobby. And so I am going to take acrylic paints and I am going to paint the whole outside of this and decorate it. And then this mermaid sticker is going to go on it just like this. 
So that's a really cool idea for any of you that are looking for organizational tips, but everything that I used on this page is all stays housed in this bottle and it keeps it off my desk and from getting mixed up with everything else. But I just thought I'd share with you that with you because that was a really cool idea I thought that I came up with. So we are going to move into the next part of this and I am going to now take my finer tip, the uh, 1M Posca, and I am going to make little stars in some of the areas on here. Okay, so I am going to show you how to do that now. Let me make sure that my Posca is running correctly. And you may see me flipping the page around and doing things kind of back and forth because I need to get the right angle to be able to do this. But I want a star like right up in here so I am going to go ahead and just try to be really artistic with this. But I don't know if you watched my last video, my background video. I did something that was sort of like this with the um, with acrylic paint. But I'm not going to take acrylic paint to this one. I just want to keep going with my Posca because I really like how it looks on top of the black background. And I think that the fine tip on here is going to work really well. So let's see what we could come up with. And I may be quiet while I'm doing this, so you guys could just follow along and see how I do it because I need to be able to concentrate. <laughs> so we're going to put a star right here. You see how I just kind of had to flick that a little bit to make it come out the way that I wanted it to so that the ends or the tips of the star were kind of pointy. That is what I wanted to be able to do. Now I'm going to try to make a little bit of a smaller one. I wish I had a star stencil so I could actually put stars on the page, but I don't think that I do. That's an idea for next time. But let me see if I can just make a really small one down here. I'm going to hold the page really steady so it comes out okay. I think that is, let me try to fix the top here. There we go. I'm gonna blow on it a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks good. So we have two stars on our page. And then, I don't know, maybe up here? Should we do another one? I messed that one up a little bit, but that's okay. Let me give that a second to dry. And I'm going to come back with my fine tip of my marker. And I'm going to see if I can cover that. You'll see why I tell you never worry when you think that you made a mistake because 
everything is fixable. But look at that. I've got three little stars on my page and I think they look good. And now I'm going to come in with my fine tip of my Posca again. And I want to put just a few little random dots. So we're going to do that now. even it out. Oh, that is cute. I'm going to keep the radius on this one a little bit smaller since it's a smaller star. But yeah, I kind of like it. So I wonder if we should do some more stars on this page. Maybe we can come over here and do a little star over here. I see that. See how they come out way better if you flick the Posca outward and it makes it a little bit, it, it gives it a little more uh, pointier edge. And then I'm going to try to put a very little tiny one down here. Oh, that one is perfect. See, as you go, like, I don't know, for me, if I'm doing anything that's artistic, for me, as I go, they always tend to get a little bit better. So I'm going to put a few little stars around this one. And then I'm going to do the same around the one at the top. But I don't know. I think that's good. I don't know if I want to put one little one up here at the top. I think I like the way that it looks. I don't want any stars down at the bottom. I kind of like them off to the side. Hmm. I think I should put a little tiny one above her head. And that one just looks just a little bit different. It's cute. And let me just put a few little dots to make it look like it's shining. I like that. Okay, and then trying to decide if I want to do, yes, I do. So we are going to make these glitter. Okay, so now we're going to come in with 
my Stardust Stickles. And we are going to make our stars glitter. You guys know that I am all about the glitter, right? So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and speed you guys up while I do this right now. Here's my completed page and I wanted to bring your attention to the fact that if you saw on that last speed through I laid down um, the stickles over here and then I decided that I didn't like the way that they looked so I just wiped them off with my finger which is fine and then I laid them back just on top of the stars because I like that look better and I like just the white dots without the glitter on the outside. But I think it turned out absolutely fantastic. But what do you all think of that transition from having no background and just leaving it white to adding the black background, adding the stars? I think it was really great. Like, I really, really love this page. And this one will definitely be getting hung up in my office on the wall in a frame because I just I really love this one I hope y'all enjoyed this video from beginning to end and you stuck around all the way to the end to see the outcome and I hope that it was worth it so if you really like this video and you want to see more of my content make sure you not only like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified of all of the videos and the content that I post. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.